In this video, I'm going to share the top three dynamic DNS services that I've tried and still use today. But before we get into it, let me quickly explain what a dynamic DNS actually is. A dynamic DNS or DDNS lets you access your home devices like a camera or server even when your IP address changes. It gives you a fixed web address that always points to your current IP so you don't have to mess with numbers that keep changing. Number three, DuckDNS. I tested DuckDNS by setting it up on a Raspberry Pi and it worked without issues. And the update times were consistent about every five minutes. The setup was a bit more technical. There's no dashboard. You use a URL with your token and run it on a schedule. I wouldn't recommend it if you're not comfortable with scripts. There's also no option for custom domains and you can't manage record types like MX or TXT. Still, it was stable and free. So for headless or scripted setups, it did the job well. Number two, no IP. I tried no IP on a router that supports DDNS out of the box and the setup was super easy. Just select no IP, enter your login and you're done. I was able to access my home server remotely without any issues. The one downside to no IP is the 30 day confirmation. They will deactivate your host name if you don't confirm every 30 days. The free plan shows ads in the dashboard and you don't get access to all the DNS record types unless you upgrade. However, the interface is beginner friendly. No IP is reliable and it's the most user friendly service that I've seen. It's definitely perfect for beginners, but the consistent reactivation is something to keep in mind. Number one, Dynu. I use Dynu for both my own domain and their free subdomains. The dashboard was clean and let me set up a MX, TXT and even SRV records. The DNS propagation was fast. IP changes showed up globally in under one minute. There was no monthly confirmation and no ads. I tested it on two different routers and it worked without any issues. The API was also straightforward. I set up a scheduled task in Windows without any trouble. So compared to NoIP and DuckDNS, Dynu gave me more control, more stability, and more features without charging me anything. This is the one I'd recommend if you want flexibility without limits. And now just a few honorable mentions. Cloudflare. Cloudflare worked great when I tested on my own domain. It required a bit more setup, but once it was running, it was fast and rock solid. This is better suited for someone who already owns a domain and is comfortable with API keys and scripting. Next. FreeDNS. FreeDNS also worked as expected. I was able to set up a host name quickly and access my home network. The interface is very dated and there's little guidance, but it supports custom domains and gives you access to a big list of public ones. It's definitely more for experienced users who don't mind digging through options and figuring things out on their own. This is a comparison chart of my top three DDNS services. That wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching.